Welcome back to the film room. Today we're going to look at Kenneth Walker, the Michigan State running back. He went to the Seahawks in the second round and it had a little, a little controversy, you could say, around it. You know, not that's probably a strong word for it, but you know, they already have Chris Carson, they have Rashad Penny, who's averaging like six yards to carry last year, who they invested a first round pick in a couple years ago, and now they got Kenneth Walker in the building. And so let's see what he can bring to the Seahawks team. Let's see if he was worth the pick or not. And we're gonna look at this game against Michigan in 2021 this is a huge game for both these teams and spoiler alert was a big win for michigan state so without further ado let's get into the tape so here's our first play this is going to be his first touchdown of many in this game and this is going to be kind of a broken play as we're going to play it pretty slowly here and i don't know i was really impressed with this play as it's not going to play but so here we go I was very impressed with his vision here as he's going to get inside and you can see there's a guy behind him. I think that might be Aiden Hutchinson and you can have to duck around. He's going to run into this wall of blockers and pretty much, you know, the defenders don't really know where he is as he kind of ducks down and then he cuts this back around and going to get this edge. It was actually Aiden Hutchinson back here and then he just gets all the way to the end zone here. And I mean, this is just really great patience, great vision from him as we'll look at it in the all 22 end zone angle and i don't know he's just he can do this a lot and we're going to see that today as you can see he kind of just ducks inside puts his head down keeps his balance then cuts this back around and is able to make this a huge gain now here is his next snap after the touchdown this is just back to back and you're going to see what he can do with his lateral agility as he's going to move Pretty well here he's gonna get to that side you can see it's kind of shut down so he's gonna cut this back boom get across and then there's Aiden Hutchinson future number two overall pick boom out of his way and then he's just gonna get this edge make another guy kind of duck inside so he kind of baits he likes to bait these defenders in and then cut back across their face and you're gonna see from this angle I mean this is a ridiculous run from here and I mean, this speed and acceleration obviously are incredible, but look at it from right here. This should not be a play that he's breaking out of. There's the future number two overall pick, projected number one, Aiden Hutchinson. Good linebacker, number 12. I don't remember his name, but he had a good game this game. And then he's just going to just completely bait him in, get around him, you know, make him fall and knock this other guy down with him. Then he's just going to get past this guy with that jump cut and just show off that speed to the end. Here's our next play. And you're going to see the defense isn't really set here as all these guys are just kind of standing around. But we're gonna be able to just see his pure speed to the edge here, as he's just gonna bend this angle and get in for the easy touchdown. Kind of a weird one, you can see there's a flag, but the touchdown still counted, at least as it looked on the scoreboard. And I don't know, I'm just, again, this is impressive. Not this is kind of a weird one since they weren't set, but I like this play from Walker, and again, that speed really translates, I think. Now here's our next one. This isn't really a big game, but it showcases his ability to just kind of duck through gaps as we're going to kind of see him just move here, duck in, and then, you know, kind of use some contact balance to stay up. Just a couple yard game, but we're going to see this ability applied a lot more later. But this is just kind of a good prelude to what he can do and just how he can kind of duck, jump cut, and just kind of hop between steps to really keep his explosiveness through every play. And here's a goal line play, just a, a similar example of what I was talking about here. You're going to see it looks like a pretty good gap. You can kind of see, like, it looks like he could probably get right up there between this tackle and this guard, but it's going to close off pretty quick, and he's not going to be able to make it there. And they're going to make contact before he crosses the goal line. It's really hard to tell here, so we're going to get to the other angle, and it's going to be a touchdown because, I mean, his contact balance is, again, ridiculous. As you're going to see, he gets this snap. And then boom, this defensive tackle has him completely wrapped up right here. And you think, you know, it's this is probably over, but look at what he does with his lower body strength that his knees are just going to absorb this dude on top of him. And you can just see his core strength. I mean, just all of that. And he's going to stay upright. There's another guy. I mean, he's just kind of in this. I mean, you can see his bend. He's like doing oh, almost like a, he's like sitting in a chair here. And then he's going to just stay upright, going to keep his legs moving and then just let kind of the push of the line and let his body just kind of get carried into the end zone. That's just another incredible play from him and very, very impressive. Now, this play is from the fourth quarter, and MSU is down eight. They need a touchdown to stay in this game as they've kind of been fighting to come back for most of this. And we're going to see here 
what you can do as right here this guy's penetrating on him this guy's holding the edge pretty well and this looks like this guy's probably gonna get a tfl but he's gonna just bend around that guy and then cut straight up field put this guy just make him fall flat down on his belly and then look at the speed to get to the next level and it's a touchdown to tie the game after a two-point conversion right after this again i mean just this explosiveness is i think pretty special and he just i mean this is a really good defense that he's doing it against and i don't think a lot of guys in this class maybe Brees hall is up here but i mean this is just special and a huge game to you know give him a chance to win and here's one that's going to be a hold but we're still going to see just a lot of impressive movement from kenneth walker and here we go with it takes him a second to snap the ball but you're gonna see aiden hutchinson penetrate get up field right here and you're gonna see this linebacker is gonna break right through walker's gonna try to bounce this outside but this guy's gonna come straight through unblocked and get kind of a angle on his leg but he's gonna stay upright somehow and the hold i think happens here or like on one of these guys and then get across he's got aiden hutchinson makes him fall down again as aiden hutchinson just really could not get him this game and then finally he's going to be wrapped up by this guy and i mean again it's a whole it doesn't go down as any stat but you can see what he can do when the play breaks down when his offensive line which wasn't phenomenal at michigan state it you know what happens when maybe when he gets a good line seahawks will see but i mean look at that dance i mean then aiden hutchinson's going to recognize he's still up and he's just going to put him flat again if this lineman had been blocking better he probably could have turned this into a bigger game now here is our second to last play this is spoiler alert the game winner for michigan state and we're going to kind of see how this develops and you're going to see the blocking is solid here they kind of build a little bit of a wall they've got this guy unblocked and walker's just going to find this tiny little crease as they're really going to get a little bit of a hole here and then he's just going to take this to the next level and you know that's gonna ice it that puts him up look at it from the other angle and it gets more impressive from there i mean he, he's just pure explosiveness and you're gonna see what he can do with his feet so he's gonna get through this gap boom and then just his feet take him the rest of the way this safety has a pretty solid angle but he's gonna jump out of this ankle tackle and like land sideways and then keep his speed and get into the end zone another incredible play from kenneth walker and that pretty much wins the game for him now here's our last play they're just trying to run the clock and really ice this game here at this point and they're just you know pounding it downhill to walker and we're gonna see on this play where they almost mess this up so here they get snapped boom you see daxon hill first round pick in the backfield you see this guy in the backfield walker doesn't even have the ball yet so somebody missed their assignment maybe one of these guys is supposed to be unblocked if they're trying to like pin him or you know something because you know there's run schemes where you can leave a guy unblocked and it works but right here this does not go as planned and the last thing you want is if you're michigan state is for your guy to get thumped in the backfield because that's how you can fumble more likely than anything else if he just gets the ball in his hands and then boom gets hit by a defender or two defenders his fumble likelihood is probably a lot higher than if you just you know got it up the middle to him pretty easily so this is a big mistake from michigan state but i mean look what he can do here and we'll just play it and then we'll look at the other angle that spin move puts him on the ground and then he's going to get, you know, a couple yards, but the yards don't matter. It's just, you know, avoiding this big hit. And again, I don't know who messed this up, but because, I mean, this is a huge mistake, I think. But, I mean, he's going to get this. You're going to see the spin from this angle. He's going to dig in and then just take this guy out and knock him into the other guy so the other guy doesn't have much speed left. Incredible play, and that's going to ice the game for Michigan State. And now let's talk about, you know, what he can be at the next level. So Kenneth Walker, as you can tell, is a weapon. He can do a lot of things. He is really good as a receiver as well, which we didn't really get to showcase much in this video. Didn't do too much receiving in this game. At least nothing that really jumped out to me. So he can do that too. Don't, you know, I wouldn't worry about that. And I think he's gonna be a really good addition to this backfield. And with Drew Locke as your quarterback, maybe getting as many run backs as you can is a good idea because Drew Locke, you know, no disrespect, but he hasn't really shown that he can be a dependable franchise quarterback. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fair assumption. And maybe if Pete Carroll just wants to run the ball and run the ball well all season. So you might as well bring in 
you know, two, three guys that can do that. Chris Carson, I think his health is a question mark, so that definitely contributes. But if he comes back healthy, if Kenneth Walker's healthy, if Rashad Penny is healthy, you can get all these guys maybe 10 touches a game, have 30 runs per game, and you can do a lot with those carries for these guys. So Walker is special, and I think he's going to be really fun to watch the NFL level. And, you know, this is just one game, one example of what he can do. But I'm hoping you took away, you know, his explosiveness and just his vision and his ability to go through contact and his just incredible lower body and leg strength. But let me know what you guys think of him. Let me know what other prospects I should feature. We're kind of getting away through as through the, you know, the season or the, the you know, the offseason before the draft. We went more to the receivers, but I'm trying to get through some more players and changing up the format a little bit in this one. So let me know what you think of that as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed all that. Comment your thoughts down below. And again, see you in the next one. Peace.